Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Google's reverse image search. Let's say you found an image and you really like it, you'd like to use it in a school project or maybe repost it on the internet, but you're not sure if you have copyright permission to reuse this image. Uh, Pinterest and Twitter and sites like that are notoriously bad for giving you any kind of useful information for where the image originated. So you need to find another way to identify who owns the copyright of this image and whether you can use it. So here are a couple ways. If you go to to Google, you'll notice up in the top right hand corner there's a button for images. Click that and you will now see this little camera option and you have the ability now to search by image. So when I click on the camera option I can either paste in the URL from the website itself or I can upload an image so if I have it saved on my desktop I can upload it there. I can also just drag and drop it if I've got it saved there on my desktop. And what Google is going to go out and do is do a search for any other hits with this exact same image. It's going to give me a couple of suggested terms of where it might have come from. Now the visually similar images for this one in particular are pretty far off. Um, I think the the AI may have a hard time recognizing this image. But if I actually go here to find other sizes of this image and click all sizes, you'll see that these are pretty exact matches. So what I can do is take my uh, cursor and scroll over these options and just see the websites that these came from. And what I'm looking for is to stay away from Pinterest and Twitter and um, just try to get something that looks uh, scientific or official. So I think there were some good NASA sites up there um, and National Geographic. So for example, if I go to the National Geographic site that matches this image, I get um, a lot more information than there was on Pinterest. Information about what I'm seeing in the image, but also my image credits. So it's crediting here NASA, but also some particular individuals. Now, um, National Geographic isn't explicitly giving me the ability to reuse this image because they themselves don't own the copyright on it. So I'm not quite done yet, but at least I've found some additional clues. Uh, a really good site to uh, search for public domain images, images that you're allowed to reuse, is Wikimedia Commons, which is a sister site to Wikipedia. And here I have my image but better than that, if I scroll down, I actually have a whole bunch of information about my image. So I can see when it was taken, the source where it was originally published, and again, I have the same uh, attribution for the people who own the image as I saw on my National Geographic site. So I feel pretty sure that I'm in the exact right place. So if I go to the original source, I can see uh, that the Hubble Telescope site posted it here. Here's a ton of great uh, image options to download it. Again, a bunch more information. And uh, it's telling me that they are giving uh, users the ability to repost this image. Uh, so that's great. And just to keep in mind that the site, the information that I'm getting on this site matches what I can find here on the Wikimedia Commons. So it, again, it's telling me that I have permission to use it. It's in the public domain. However, it says they do request that you be that they be given acknowledgement. So they if you do reuse this image anywhere, they do want you to give credit to the image creators. So for example, that Pinterest use of the image is violating um, the copyright holders request. So I want to make sure if I use this image that I'm actually giving credit using this information I was able to find. Uh, thank you and I hope you enjoy using Google reverse image search.